Good morning, Positive Impact Club. So, I want to talk to you guys today about an exercise activity that I actually recommend to a lot of my patients. So as a physical therapist, I get lots of questions about what types of activities you know, my patients can do outside of their treatment with me in order to just kind of maintain their physical health. And really the number one activity that I recommend by far is yoga. Now, yoga is an often misunderstood activity. You know, most people kind of think it involves burning incense and chanting while wearing like a big orange robe or something. Um, but uh, you know, I, I know that because that's what I used to think of it. And what started to kind of change my mind was a book I read a while ago uh, called Real Men Do Yoga. So clearly the authors did a good job of trying to kind of rope men in who thought yoga was you know, a little bit less of an intense activity. So they got some professional athletes to be in the book and they described how yoga had helped them become better athletes, uh, which I think was a good idea. Um, you know, those guys weren't dummies. After reading the book and trying some of the workouts that they had in there, I was pretty sold on the idea of yoga as, you know, really more of a physically challenging activity. So, another aspect that I think is great about yoga is a focus on proper breathing. Now, you know, I'm talking about, you know, regular breathing, not like a, like a meditative state that, you know, some yoga teachers focus on. You know, it's about good natural belly breathing that we've discussed in the past at the Positive Impact Club. Yoga is just a great way to train your body to breathe properly while performing hard, strenuous activity. If you can breathe properly while going through yoga movements, then you know, breathing properly while sitting or standing at work is pretty much going to be easy. So remember, many of my patients' pains and problems can be directly related you know, to their poor breathing mechanics. We've, we've talked about this before. Nobody really teaches us how to breathe until you, know, you have a problem and you meet the right physical therapist. But yoga is a really good place to learn good proper breathing. Yoga is probably the most beneficial side effect for myself you know, and a lot of my patients is really proper mobility in all the joints and the muscles in their body. Uh, I turned 40 this year and uh, you know, many of my patients are older than that. You know, so at my age, muscles and joints are just going to tighten up unless you pay attention to them and commit to working on it. I tell most of my patients, you know, if we were all 18 years old again, then things would be different. You know, unfortunately, we're not. So now we have to invest a little bit more time in maintaining good flexibility in our bodies and you know, just kind of help us stay out of trouble um, and ultimately out of my office. So here is my challenge to you. I want you to find a place near you and take an introductory yoga class if you've never tried it out. Uh, you know, things are always easier and less intimidating when you take a partner. So you know, find a buddy to go with you. You know, better yet, maybe find someone who's already doing yoga and uh, you know, just talk to the instructor when you get there, tell me you're a beginner and your physical therapist said you should go check it out. Uh, if they're a good instructor, they're going to keep an eye on you. Make sure that you know, you're not getting yourself into too much trouble and, uh, and, and just help you out. So I want you to think about how you feel at the end of the session and, you know, and try and incorporate you know, just like a couple of sessions a month into your fitness routine. If you can do that, you really stand a much better chance of avoiding physical therapists like myself. So, listen, don't wait. Find a yoga buddy, do it right now, and, uh, and get to a class. And let me know how it goes. You can email me, todd at positiveimpactclub.com, uh, and I really hope you enjoy this new activity of yoga.